And hello everyone, this is just me, Patrick, Caribou Hunter 64 here, recording an audio commentary of some gameplay that I've had saved in my file share for quite a while. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to be using the FAMAS for playing on Cracked today, which is a pretty sweet map. This is Ground War Domination. I'm playing with a full party of guys, I believe. And so, yeah, let's watch this. And yeah, I, I get killed off the start really bad. I get totally embarrassed by a guy. Because uh, my aim was totally off and it looked ridiculous. So, yeah. A couple things I want to talk about. Uh, <laughs> movies is one thing I want to talk about. I went and saw, what is it, Tron 3D. And then I saw Little Fockers the other night. And yeah, both were definitely decent. I think that Little Fockers is probably the third best out of the series. But, I mean, that's not saying, you know, anything bad about it. It's just... Yeah, the other two movies were really classic, in my opinion, really funny. So, uh, yeah. Um, this gameplay is pretty good. I, uh, I've i had it saved for a while, and uh, what I'm going to be trying to do is bring you guys games um, with a lot of kills and, you know, good gameplay over anything else. But, uh, yeah, I dropped that guy into last stand and killed him and hurt his teammate, so I'm just waiting for him to waiting for him to kind of run out. I put the napalm down, and I'm playing this in theater mode, so unfortunately you won't be able to see where I put the napalm, but uh, it was in the right place. And this, see, you know, some people just get killed out of sheer foolishness. I mean, that guy, I ran right past his face, and for some reason, I don't know. It's whatever. I put down a claymore, and uh, this is sort of a camp move. I don't mind saying so. I just, I knew they are going to come back for a revenge kill. There goes the guy right there. Gets right by the claymore, and I finish him off. So... What else are we going to talk about? Um, yeah, I have. I just got my Dazzle today. I'm ready to start recording again. Uh, I've always really liked, you know, uh, people doing audio commentary on Call of Duty videos. You know, I've been watching it for a long time, and, you know, uh, I really, I've always enjoyed it. And, uh, you know, if they throw a grenade there, I think I killed myself a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I've always watched and admired, you know, people who were really straightforward on the mic. And, uh, yeah, just had a good time playing Call of Duty and wanted to share that with other people so that's what I'm trying to do here and uh, it just it gives me a kind of a kick to be able to uh, create content like this and have a good time doing it uh, this is Black Ops this is my first Black Ops gameplay and uh, yeah I start camping here and uh, I pay for it the guy comes down or he comes up on me and uh, you know beats me but yeah like I was saying this is you know it's just it's Black Ops, and I play Black Ops a lot differently, I think, than I played Modern Warfare, either Modern Warfare game, and uh, I think that I play a little more cautiously on this game because it seems to me like a lot of people use the spy plane, and there's Blackbird, and there's RC cars everywhere, but I play a little more cautiously because to me the game is not quite as smooth as the Modern Warfare games. Um, and to get a nice little double kill there with the tube and yeah so I'm just playing with a full party here maybe maybe eight uh, but this is ground war and uh, the team that I play with is really stacked and we've always played really well as a team and we're really good team players so you know sometimes we get caught up in getting a lot of kills but yeah that's how it works sometimes so on this map on domination um, if you're controlling the A and B flag like I am, or we are, I would try and uh, just stay in the B area and pick them off, depending on whether they're going to try and come at you or not. I just pick them off as they come either up the front or uh, through the two side entrances. Uh, yeah, I tried. I was about to shoot that guy into the napalm and he ran right into it. And get a nice long shot on this guy. Yeah, there we go. Let's see. So, um, yeah, uh, I, I've been watching these commentaries for a long time. I've always hoped, wished I could do it, but uh, you know, I'm getting there. And this part's kind of funny. I was like, "Oh, there's a guy there." Yep. This Simtix barely, barely doesn't kill me. So I got really lucky there too. Shoot this guy, hip fire when he comes in, and I totally fail here. I weapon swap for some reason. This guy's able to just chase me, and get an easy knife kill, and that made me super pissed because, yeah, it's just, to 
it's just totally not cool to get killed like that right before your chopper. So I would have had two Hueys, but uh, I sped this part up a little bit so we can not have to watch it all the way through. Because people seem to like to like to fast forward through this garbage. This is where I do a lot of my damage to them. Alrighty, so let's see what I do here. Yeah, I'm going to go left behind this bus, and uh, this guy comes to me. And look at this guy. I really don't like Last Stand as a perk. I don't think that it should really be available in this game. And watch this nade. Ouch. And then, yeah, pick that guy up. So, Napalm's flying in. We got this game well at hand, so now basically it's just time to, you know, get kills and have a good time. Because this game is... I think it might even be over. I mean, it's almost over. Because they can't score enough points to catch us. I've got some good gameplay stored up. I'll be able to bring you guys videos pretty often. And, uh, yeah. Get shanked there. I'm really not a good knifer either, so... If someone runs straight at me, I'm most likely going to die. And there's my two deaths right in a row. And that's why I got kind of... I was kind of upset about that. I don't really like it killed twice in a row. Especially when I run up into a room and there's a claim already in there. I heard that guy or saw him. One of the two. But, but yeah, one of my keys to the, playing this game is just always going for a flank and always trying to listen and pay attention to where they should be coming from. My teammates down, I go pick them up, see. It's just being, you know, heads up all the time and uh, being ready for anything to happen. That's, so that's how I do it. Uh, I lay down here because I expect them to come up the staircase across from me and try and get a jump on B. And I shoot at that guy, which I shouldn't know. He runs off. You know, I drop shot. See, you know, I've formed a pattern of drop shotting, so I really need to get away with that, or get away from that very soon, because nobody likes it when you just drop shot every time. Which I, I have a habit of doing, so. <clears throat> Comes this guy, headshot. And, uh, yeah. So, tell me what you guys want. I'm going to try and get the quality of these videos as good as I can. And uh, just tell me what maps, what game types you want to see. And uh, I'll do my best to put it up, you know. So, uh, definitely enjoy this one. This one's coming to an end. I call it an napalm strike and kill a guy on B as well. Napalm gets me a double. And I believe that's gonna, yeah, that's gonna bring us to the end of the game. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I'm gonna go ahead and keep recording. That's a 50 and 7 finish.